What is going on, guys? So we're going to do a little, something a little bit different here uh, than we normally do. So as you know, as always, uh, tomorrow night there's going to be a new update. Supposedly, the rumor is that it's going to be LF Scythe Rosé and Trunks with my assist. But we did just get this news that the Ginyu Force event is not only going to be coming back permanently, but it is also going to allow us to Zenkai Awaken Namek Krillin. Now, uh, normally I would do this during the standard update maintenance and whatnot, but I think depending on how much stuff is going to be, you know, introduced tomorrow night, I'd rather go over the breakdown now. Get them done and out of the way since we have the information. And then uh, we can go and do the standard, you know, update maintenance stuff tomorrow night. So let's jump into it. So yeah, uh, we're going to be able to Zenkai Awaken, EX, Purple, Namek Krillin. And uh, there's going to be uh, some stuff with this. So let's scroll down here. So we have a standard kit here. And we'll be able to check out his Zenkai stats or his Zenkai kit here. So let's jump into that first. Um, special move deals major slice damage, 80% chance to inflict heavy bleed on hit. Uh, his main ability uh, draws a special move arts card next. 20% uh, of damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts. Uh, shortens ally substitution counts by five. And that happens after 15 timer counts. And then his special skill inflicts flash on hit and inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% of damage received for 20 time counts. Uh, after his Zenkai, uh, his special move gains the ability to apply downgrade 50% to health restoration for 15 timer counts and goes from 80 to 100% uh, heavy bleed. So that's a pretty good upgrade, I would say, for a unit like him. Um, in terms of the main ability, nothing really changes for the main ability outside of the timer counts that need to elapse. And then uh, his special skill uh, is the same as it was before, only difference being that he restores his own key by 30 on use. Uh, or on hit, anyway. So, uh, decent decent buff just to his, you know, you know, to his arts cards and stuff. Um, no complaints on, uh, on that perspective um and then if we go back his um nothing really changes with the z ability obviously um he's still going to be buffing frieza saga and uh or element purple units for strike and blast attack so uh that i guess that is uh pretty nice to have uh his standard unique abilities for zenkai uh masterful support uh, applies the following effects to ca this character when switched to standby 20% um, to damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts and then restores own key by 30 uh, and then uh, Goku which applies the following effects to allies when he's defeated 15% uh, to damage inflicted 30% key recovery also applies the following effects to allied uh, character Goku 15% damage inflicted 25 to special move damage uh, after Zenkai though we're going to scroll past that for a second just to kind of look and see what he has. Um, this doesn't change. Uh, and the only thing that changes here is it goes from 30% to 40% uh, key recovery uh, for allies. This, that's the only thing that changes here. So not too much of a change, but he gets these uh, other abilities as well. So uh, last ounce of willpower, which is at Zenkai 3. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Let's try that again, everybody. <laughs> um, so at three stars, uh, or Zenkai level three, the following effect occurs when this character is defeated. Uh, uh, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10% of damage rece received for 30 timer counts. Increase your own Dragon Balls by one. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus five to all arts costs for 20 counts. This doesn't seem like it's going to be a lot, but you got to think 30 timer counts is a decent amount of time. Um, it's not anything overpowered like 60, obviously, but 30, you can get a lot done in 30 seconds. So 10%, uh, it may not seem like a lot, but it 
it is definitely substantial when you take into account how much damage you would be doing in a 30 second time period. Um, also, this doesn't look anything all that impressive. However, this plus five to all your arts, like you would be absolutely uh, amazed by how much key you're actually expelling here. Uh, Cause just imagine you use all four cards that are currently in your hand. Uh, you're already using 20 more key than you already would. So unless you have units that offer really high key recovery or like instant key regain, uh, this is going to be pretty effective. And then at Zenkai level six, uh, life of the party, uh, plus 10% to damage inflicted by allies from battle start for 60 timer counts cannot be canceled. And then applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. He restores key by 20 and he gets 40% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Um, this is very reminiscent to Vados. I believe when Vados switches out and in, I think she has the same thing where she does, uh, where she increases the key that you have uh, or you get key regain. So it's nice that it's nice to have a super warrior unit that offers this. Um, but that being said, uh, if we go and look at the Zenkai abilities, um, obviously as per the free Zenkais that we have been getting, uh, they need to be obviously of the same element and of the same rarity. Uh, so extreme and purple. Um, that is a, that is not out of the realms of possibility, especially on a Super Warriors tag. Uh, the only downside is that it is double Zenkai deep or double defense. Uh, Thirty percent to defenses isn't bad, but when you take into account, take a look at like the tags that it offers here, right? Um, obviously, the only thing that the only one that this is going to be applying to is going to be the EX Nail. Um, which again is fine. It's fine to do that, but the problem being is that you're not really nobody's running Frieza Saga <laughs> uh, teams. No one, no one's doing that. Uh, I mean, you could you could probably say or incorporate this into like you know Ginyu Force maybe if you're maining Captain Ginyu here. Um, but there's really not much viability there. And then if you look at the Super Warrior tag list. Um, while Krillin doesn't directly buff Super Warriors, he will be giving this buff to this Krillin. And these EX units are fantastic uh, for what they are. Um, when these guys first got released, I remember seeing them all over the place in PvP. And they, they do some damage. So for this Krillin to be able to get a buff is really, really nice. But again, at the same time, no one's really running Super Warriors uh, in the meta right now. Uh, so... This particular buff isn't necessarily going to improve either of the teams that you would use this Krillin on. Uh, the only way you would use this Krillin would be if you're running a, like, uh, obviously a Goku team, right? And you want to run him with, because this guy obviously gives you Goku buffs. Or gives buffs to Goku, right? Um, yeah, he's getting, you know, 15 damage there, and then 15 damage there, and then 25 damage there. Uh, so you're talking potentially, um, what is that? 40 and then 55. And then if you apply, if you imply this, that's another 10% for 30 counts. So you're talking 65 and then you're talking another 10% here. Um, so 75, like Goku's are essentially getting a 75% buff and it's all nice and good. But again, more than likely, if you're running a Goku team, you're running a Sun Family team, and Sun Family is currently kind of like top tier in the meta right now. So you're not really doing anything with this uh, Krillin, unfortunately. Um, so I think he's good. I think his, I think the ki the kit that he has been given for his Zenkai is absolutely something that he particularly needed. Um, and it's nice that you can actually run this guy on a Super Warriors tag. Or if you really wanted to go the extra mile, you could probably run a Frieza Saga tag. But knowing knowing the majority of people, I would imagine they would probably run it with these guys. And they would just but use him on a bench to buff this Krillin. Or at the very least, they would uh, run like a, uh, I don't know, like a purple, purple, red, purple, purple, blue, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's really out there. But no, he's not bad. Uh, Stat-wise, though, stat-wise, though, uh, currently... He's got very, he's got decent blast attack. 
he's got all he's got all right strike uh, attack, um, and his defenses are pretty nice. And this is at max stars, by the way. Um, stat wise, um, I can see him maybe going up to two point three health. I could probably see him going something along the lines of uh, I don't I don't know maybe maybe two forty, uh, two twenty. Defenses maybe going up to uh, maybe 150, 156, something along those lines there. Um, we could probably go and take a look here. Let me see if I could pull him up. Um, the most recent free uh, Zenkai unit that we received was uh, Cell, right? That was the most recent one that we got, and he's down here. So if we want to take a look at what he was able to do. So before he went up, uh, he was 229, 234, and then 66, 66. Uh, yeah, went up almost 10,000 on strike attack, about 10, almost 10,000 on blast attack. And his defenses went up 8,000, which isn't too bad. So for this Krillin, Going up 10, going up 10, and going up 8 would be 52, and then going up 8 would be 160. So yeah, I can see this being the case. He'll probably gain those types of stat increases uh, from that. Uh, now, the last thing I want to cover in this video before we end it uh, is if we scroll down to the bottom, um, obviously you'll be able to get all the Ginyu Force medals, but um, I think the big thing that comes from this is the Awakened Krillin uh, equipment here. Um, this, this equipment got a huge buff. Now, um, originally it was, uh, black base health, 3 to 15, and then it was strike attack, strike defense for 3 to 18, and then slot 3 was, uh, slot 3 was also, uh, 3 to 18, 3 to 18. Problem with this with this equipment initially was that the equipment conditions were for hero units. Now it's been updated, where it's now 15. It, this stayed the same, except now it's 8 to 15 percent as opposed to 3 to 15. Slot two and three went from 8 to 15 to th 15 to 30 percent, and this works on Frieza Saga Extremes and Frieza Saga Heroes. Uh, so take this into account the fact if you are able to get a Z awakening get these to uh, S or Z and you can get these rolled with the strike attack and blast attack imagine how much damage if every one of the EX Ginyu squad had 30% uh, increases to their attacks uh, not saying that they would that Ginyu Force would be meta breaking or anything, but Ginyu Force would be kind of be back in the fold a little bit. You probably see a little bit more Ginyu Force in PvP matches. Because Ginyu Force is still, they're still a very good team all in all, but they just, unfortunately, like just compared to what the current meta is currently at, they just don't stand a chance. But with this extra 30% for all units, I mean, they, they, they could stand a reason that they may be back in the fold again. I don't know. I think this is a really good equip. I think everybody that does this event should definitely, obviously, Zenkai 7 this Krillin. Um, and then uh, definitely do it at least for the sake of, you know, trying to get this because this is actually a very useful uh, equip. I would say everybody should farm this equip. Um, that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, with this Krillin, uh, we... Obviously, we have our team comp challenge videos uh, where you guys suggest teams for me to roll in, or to take into PvP. Um, and the last one that was actually suggested by the community was an all Krillin team. And I was going to film that earlier, but now that that now that this Krillin has a Zenkai Awakening, uh, we're definitely going to be doing it at some point. So uh, once we get him up to Zenkai level seven, uh, expect to see that video. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watch, uh, watching. Like and subscribe for more Legends content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.